countryside in a town called Windeshmere. A wealthy duke who owned a farm hired help and sprinklers near. It was a busy man, this old duke was, and his crops all needed picking. So he hired some lad to be his new farm hand, and his name was Young Chuck Dickens. Young Chuck Dickens worked real hard harvesting the crops, and the wealthy duke promoted him to work with his livestock. Chuck had luck with the cows and pigs, he could get those horses kicking, but he couldn't seem to master the wealthy duke's prize chickens. Poor Chuck Dickens could never get his chickens to do what the wealthy duke had said. When it came to beats and talents, he didn't have much talent, but he just didn't know it yet. Now for his 16th birthday, he got paper and got pens, but he hid those things away and kept on working with the hens. He taught the birds to hear his words and follow his commands. He made them dance, he made them sing and swing like a big brass band. He needed a life's work, a legacy to leave behind, some way to make an impact, to contribute to mankind. By the time he turned 18, he felt his time on earth was ticking, so he put together a traveling show, a circus for his chickens. Poor Chuck Dickens, he swore he'd train his chickens so he wouldn't be forgotten when he's dead. When it came to beaks and talons, he didn't have much talent, but he just didn't know it yet. He loaded up a wagon, placed a wagon on the train, took his chickens to the city where he hoped that he'd find fame. But he was met with ridicule, his hard work was the not. No one would pay a hay penny to hear his chickens bark. He thought that he was done, thought it was time to just go home. But on the streets of London, those chickens put on a show. They started robbing storefronts, and is where this hip-hop thickens. London Bridge started burning down because of Dickens' chickens. Poor Chuck Dickens, he couldn't get his chickens to put out all the fires they had set. When it came to beats and talents, he didn't have much talent, but he just didn't know it yet. All the chickens scattered, and his favorite one named Pip was found in the London churchyard conniving with convicts. And the ex truck had sitting in his bag and hatched a what a twist. And he soon found cash sitting in his bag from the pockets the chicks had picked. It was the worst of times, and the worst of chickens was a time of destitution. And some French hens got mad and started a new French revolution. And the money in the bag that young Chuck had was being hoarded by a rooster, who blew his riches buying fancy dishes in a big old Christmas goose fur. The Crunchy family were a really poor family the rooster had done wrong by in the past. And the greedy rooster was visited by three spirits who showed him the error of his ways, and now he's a really generous rooster, but he gives all of his money away. Actually, he doesn't give all his money away, he gives all Chuck's money away. So now poor Chuck's got no way to get home, and he's got no money, because he's gosh darn pocket picking Dickens' chickens have stolen all of his dough. So, poor Chuck Dickens was ruined by his chickens. They got the boy in trouble and in debt. When it came to beaks and talons, he didn't have much talent, but he just didn't know it yet. Chuck decided he should quit. He should just throw in the towel, find a better way to spend his days and nights. For he'd had enough of his poorly trained domestic fowl, so he grabbed a pen and paper, tried to write. Well, they say, write what you know, and our young Chuck Dickens groaned, cause all he knew was roosters and hens. Then all the trouble that they'd caused with their little chicken claws, and he'd prefer to never think of them again. Oh, poor Chuck Dickens was haunted by his chickens, and the chaos and the crime that they had spread. When it came to beats and talents, he didn't have much talent, and that misery still filled his little head. But he kept on writing day and night, he never stopped to rest. He'd write despite the doubts inside, disturbing his process. And even though those chickens made our young Chuck Dickens stressed, he found success when he addressed what he never could do best. Oh, poor Chuck Dickens and his evil little chickens might sound like some novels you have read. Because Chuck turned those chicken stories into brilliant allegories and became a renowned writer instead. <laughs>